When studying geometry, do your kids have trouble understanding the meaning of the term area? My name is Steve Reifman, and I'm a National Board Certified Elementary School teacher and author in Santa Monica, California. Today, I'll be sharing with you a story in which the meaning of the term area is embedded within the plot of the story. Earlier, in another video, I shared the story of perimeter and how you can use that story to help your kids learn perimeter. This is a companion story to that one, and it features a girl who lives down the street from Perry named Aria. Like Perry, Aria is a bit strange, we all are in some way, but Aria is a bit unusual, in that she has no interests or hobbies. But she does have the ability to lie down on things and cover them completely. So out of the playground at recess, for example, when her friends are playing hopscotch, instead of taking her turn, Aria will lie down on the hopscotch court and cover it completely. At home when the mom is showing off Aria's little sister's new sleeping bag, Aria will lie down on it and cover it completely. One day, Aria takes her little sister and Aria to the mattress store to buy the little girl a, a new big girl mattress because it's time for Aria's sister to get her, her first big girl mattress. The mom is horrified when Aria starts lying down on all the mattresses in the store and she's completely worried and frantic when the manager of the store comes storming over to the family. Ma'am, he says to the mother, is this your daughter lying down on these mattresses? Embarrassed, the mom says, yes, I'm afraid it is. But instead of being upset, the manager is delighted. Ma'am, he says, I've never seen a girl with such natural talent. Why, well, the way she lies there and covers those mattresses completely is fantastic. I would like to hire her to be our store's new mattress inspector to make sure that every new mattress we get in is suitable for selling to customers. So the mom was absolutely thrilled to have that offer given and Aria went on to become a famous mattress inspector. And like Perry Meter, she turned her interest in doing something a little unusual into something positive, and she earned some money in the process. So after I shared this story with my students, I pull a table out so it's completely um, unconnected to any other table and ask for a volunteer to be Aria, and the kids are falling all over themselves to be that volunteer to get to lie down on the desk and have everybody watch. So that image of somebody lying down on a desk and covering it completely is burning into the kids' brains. And it's probably the only time in that student's academic career when he or she will be praised for lying down on the job. After Aria lies down, I call another student to be Perimeter. And simultaneously, Perimeter will be walking around the desk while Aria lies down on it. So the kids have a very strong image of each of these two characters, and they will understand forever who they are and what they do. For more teaching tips, blog posts, and other resources on teaching the whole child, please visit steveriefman.com. Thank you.